If there was one thing to revolve our lives around, to help us make decisions, use as guidance, and help us govern our thoughts, deeds, and actions, it is clear that the only effective material to accomplish this is the Word of God. God has been gracious enough to reveal His will, His character, and His thoughts in His holy written Word, and it is the most important piece of material that we as humans can read, study, and put our faith in. In fact, revolving our lives around the Word of God is the only way we can live a truly successful life. Joshua 1.8 says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Although this was originally talking about the law of Moses, this can be expanded upon to all the Word of God. If we want to have good success in this world, we need to keep the Word of God constantly in our hearts and our minds. And success in this sense is not the same as worldly success. A truly successful life is a life with God, a strong relationship with Him through His Son Jesus while obeying His Word. Also, notice that the scripture says, For then you will make your way prosperous. It is something that we do. It is our choice to meditate and follow the Word of God. We can choose to do it our way and ignore the teachings of God, and we can choose to try it the world's way and disregard God. And even if that leads to temporary success by the world's standards, it will ultimately lead to a life of destruction. A life without God is no life at all. And we must not only meditate on the Word, but we must also observe it and do what it says. For James 1.22 says, Do not merely listen to the Word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. We need to store the Word of God in our hearts and obey it. Jesus said if we love Him, then we must follow His commands. If we are only meditating on the Word and the commands of God, but aren't practicing them, then we are self-deceived. If you are a hearer but not a doer of the Word, then you can't even blame the devil for deceiving you. You are deceiving yourself. We must do what Jesus has commanded. Luke 11.28 says, He replied, as in Jesus replied, Blessed rather are those who hear the Word of God and obey it. If we keep the commands of God in our hearts, meditate on them day and night, and strive to follow them, then we will make our way prosperous and we will have good success. God's Word is true and faithful. And of course, this doesn't mean the absence of trials and tribulations or the absence of problems in your life. It means that God will always bring you triumph over the trials and tribulations. You will surely have good success. Psalm 1, 1 through 4 says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. The one who delights in the law of the Lord is like a tree planted by streams of water and yields good fruit. Fruit that can be used by God to advance the kingdom and advance his purposes. Whatever that person does prospers, for they delight in the word of God and delight in his ways. There are many, many psalms that emphasize the importance of keeping the word or the law of God in our hearts and delighting in it. Psalm 48 I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. Psalm 37, 31 The law of his God is in his heart. His steps do not slip. Psalm 119, 11 Your word I have treasured in my heart, that I may not sin against you. Psalm 119, 9 How can a young person stay in the path of purity? By living according to your word. These are only a few scriptures highlighting the importance of following God's word, keeping it in our hearts and delighting in it. If we follow Jesus and his commands, we will avoid falling into sin and our steps will not slip. If we want to stay in the path of purity, we need to live according to God's word and his ways. If we continually meditate on God's word, it will help to renew our minds and transform our thinking. It will help our thoughts align with God's word instead of our normal, horrible thinking. The word of God is more than just a book. It has the power to transform you and change your circumstance, change the very trajectory of your life and spirit. Hebrews 4.12 says, For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. The word of God is alive and active. It is powerful and capable of tremendous change. God is faithful and we can be assured that whatever he has said will surely come to pass. As Hebrews says, the Word of God can and should be used to judge our thoughts and attitudes. If we are unsure if a thought is from our mind or from the Holy Spirit, we must test it with the Word of God. 
If there is any contradiction to the word whatsoever, then you must throw that out. Even things we know for sure are wrong, like hatred or jealousy towards a neighbor. The word of God judges those very thoughts and attitudes of our heart, and we realize we must repent of that. The word is alive, active, and sharp. The word will penetrate. The word of God reveals the good and bad within us, and reveals what we need to change, what we need to cry out to God in repentance for, and makes us conscious of our sin. We need to meditate on the word of God day and night. 2 Timothy 3, 16-17 reminds us, All scripture is God-breathed, and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. How do we, as servants and friends of the Most High God, become equipped for His purposes? Well, we must be taught, rebuked, corrected, and trained in righteousness through the Word. It is the Word of God that is God-breathed and helps us train in righteousness. This is not something that we can do without His Word. You cannot be righteous on your own doing, no matter how hard you try. We are only made righteous through Christ, and are trained in righteousness through the Word, which also is Christ. We should all strive to do the works and purposes of God, and this requires spending time with Him and His Word in order to be equipped. And we can also be assured that the Word of God will always be relevant and prevalent. It will stand for all eternity. It will never fail. Isaiah 48 says, The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the Word of our God endures forever. So, brothers and sisters, let us do exactly what the Word instructs us to do. Let us meditate on the law of the Lord day and night, and let us strive to obey the commands of Jesus with all our heart. For we know, following God in His ways is the only way we can have a successful life, a life where we have a strong relationship with our Heavenly Father and can be assured that we will spend all eternity with Him. Glory to God.